So this is from Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. Creating thoughts, holding on to thoughts, recalling thoughts, generating emotions, controlling emotions, and disciplining powerful inner drives all require a tremendous expenditure of energy. Where does all this energy come from? Why is the energy there sometimes and at other times you feel completely drained? Have you ever noticed that when you're mentally and emotionally drained, food doesn't help that much? Conversely, if you look at times in your life when you were in love or excited and inspired by something, you were so filled with energy that you didn't even want to eat. This energy we are discussing does not come from the calories your body burns from food. There is a source of energy you can draw upon from the inside. It is distinct from the outer energy source. The best way to examine this source of energy is to look at an example. Let's say that you're in your 20s and your girlfriend or boyfriend breaks up with you and you get so totally depressed that you start staying home alone and soon because you don't have the energy to clean up Everything looks sprawled all over the floor. <clears throat> Everything ends up sprawled all over the floor. You can hardly get out of bed, so you just sleep all the time. You must be eating because there are pizza boxes laying all around, but nothing seems to help you. You just have no energy. Your friends invite you out, but you decline. You are simply too tired to do anything. Most people have been there at some time in their lives, you feel that you have no way out, and it seems like you will stay there forever. Then, suddenly, the phone. one day, the phone rings. It's your girlfriend. That's right, the one who dumped you three months ago. She's crying as she says, Oh my God, do you remember me? I hope you still, you'll still talk to me. I just feel so terrible. Leaving you was the worst mistake I ever made. I see now how important you are to me, and I can't live without you. The only real love I ever felt in my life was during the time we were together. Would you please forgive me? Could you ever forgive me? Can I come over and see you? Now how are you doing? Seriously, how long does it take you to get enough energy to jump out of bed, clean up the apartment, take a shower, and get some color back into your face? It's practically instantaneous. You're filled with the energy the moment you hang up at the phone. How does this happen? You were completely drained. For months and months, you had no energy. Then, out of nowhere, in a matter of seconds, there is so much energy, it blows you away. You can't just ignore this enormous shifts in your energy level. Where exactly did all the energy come from? There was no sudden change in your eating or sleeping habits. Yet, when your girlfriend comes by, you end up talking all night and going out to see the sunrise in the morning. You're not tired at all. You're together again, and you're holding hands, and these rushes of joy just won't stop overwhelming you. People see you, and they remark that you look like a bundle of light. Where did all this energy come from? What you'll see if you watch carefully is that you have had a phenomenal amount of energy inside you. It doesn't come from food and it doesn't come from sleep. This energy is always available to you. At any moment, you can draw upon it. It just wells up and fills you from the inside. When you're filled with this energy, you feel like you could take on the world. When it's flowing strongly, you can act Actually feel it coursing through you in waves. It gushes up spontaneously from deep inside and restores, replenishes, and recharges you. The only reason you don't feel this energy all the time is because you block it. You block it by closing your heart, by closing your mind, and by pulling yourself into a restrictive space inside. This closes you off from all the energy. When you close your heart or close your mind, you hide in the darkness within you. There is no light. There is no energy. There is nothing flowing. The energy is still there, but it can't get in. 
That is what it means to be blocked. That is why you have no energy when you're depressed. There are centers within the channel you're in. There are centers within that channel your energy flow. When you close them, there is no energy. When you open them, there is. Although various energy centers exist within you, the one you intuitively know the most about opening and closing is your heart. Let's say that you love somebody and you feel very open in their presence because you trust them. Your walls come down, allowing you to feel lots of high energy. But if they do something you don't like, the next time you see them, you don't feel so high. You don't feel as much love. Instead, you feel tightness in your chest. This happens because you closed your heart. The heart is an energy center, and it can open or close. The yogis call it the center's chakras. And when you close your heart center, energy can't flow in. When energy can't flow in, there's darkness. Depending on how closed you are, you either feel tremendous disturbance or overwhelming lethargy. Often people fluctuate between those two states. If you then find out that your loved one didn't do anything wrong, or if they apologize to your satisfaction, your heart opens again. With this opening, you get filled with energy, and the love starts flowing again. How many times have you experienced these dynamics in your life? You have a wellspring of beautiful energy inside you. When you are open, you feel it. When you're closed, you don't. This flow energy comes from the depth of your being. It's been called by many names. In ancient Chinese, it's called Qi. In yoga, it's called Shakti. In the West, it's called Spirit. Call it anything you want. All the great spiritual traditions talk about your spiritual energy. They just give it different names. That spiritual energy is what you're experiencing when love rushes up into your heart. That is what you're experiencing when you're enthused by something and all this high energy comes up inside of you.